The Garmin Venue 3 was released in late 2023, and it didn't take long for people to start speculating about its successor, the Venue 4. Although Garmin hasn't officially announced the next-generation smartwatch, the company's historical release patterns suggest that the Venue 4 could launch in late 2025. With each new version, Garmin continues to refine its smartwatch offerings, and the Venue 4 is anticipated to bring significant improvements, especially in areas like smart features, connectivity, and fitness tracking. So, what might the Venue 4 have in store? Let's dive in. The Venue 3 introduced voice control for smartphone assistants like Siri and Google Assistant, but it didn't support on-device voice commands. Garmin has already rolled out this functionality on the Phoenix 8, making it likely that the Venue 4 will also include direct voice control, enabling users to operate the watch without touching it. Additionally, enhancements to the microphone and speaker quality are expected, which would make voice calls and interactions smoother and more reliable. Garmin is already a leader in fitness tracking, and the Venue 3 came packed with a variety of health and activity monitoring features. However, it missed some advanced training tools such as triathlon and running track modes. Including these in the Venue 4 would make it a more versatile option for multi-sport athletes. Another feature that's been absent from the Venue series is training readiness, a popular tool among serious athletes that helps tailor workout intensity based on recovery metrics. This feature is available on other Garmin devices, and given its demand, there's a good chance it could make its way to the Venue 4. A major drawback of the Venue series has been the lack of LTE connectivity. Currently, users need to stay connected to a smartphone for calling, messaging, and streaming. Introducing an LTE version of the Venue 4 would allow users to make calls, send texts, and access online features independently, which would be a game-changer for athletes who prefer to train without carrying a phone. Garmin's proprietary charging system works well but falls short of the convenience offered by wireless charging, a feature that's become standard on many competing smartwatches. If the Venue 4 were to adopt wireless charging, it would greatly enhance the user experience by eliminating the need for cables. Plus, it would allow the watch to lie flat on charging pads instead of being propped up awkwardly. One area where Garmin lags behind competitors like Apple, Samsung, and Google is third-party app support. While the Garmin Connect IQ Store offers some apps, the selection is much more limited compared to platforms like the App Store or Google Play. Expanding third-party app availability on the Venue 4 would significantly boost its functionality, making it a more competitive option in the wearable market. The Venue series is one of Garmin's most popular smartwatch lines, and it's unlikely the company will discontinue it anytime soon. If Garmin sticks to its usual release schedule, the Venue 4 is expected to arrive in late 2025. That said, there's also a possibility of an intermediate model, such as a Venue 3 Plus, being released before then. While there's no concrete information about this, Garmin has occasionally introduced Plus versions of its watches to offer minor upgrades. What are your thoughts? What features would you like to see in the Garmin Venue 4? Share your opinions in the comments.